breast cancer is very curable, but just the words, you know, you have breast cancer are very scary. What is really awesome about my role is that I get to work so closely with these women and I see them when they're struggling and then weeks, months, years later, I see them out and about living very full, happy lives again. By the very next day, I actually saw my surgeon and Dr. Hafner would continue to every time I saw her say, we've got this, don't worry. I always tell my patients I'm seeing them for their initial breast cancer consult that this is likely what we're going to recommend for your radiation treatment and for your chemo or pills that you might take, but we're going to sit down next Thursday and talk about this at the round table to make sure that that's all the case. It's our multidisciplinary conference which has radiation oncology, medical oncology, the surgeons are there, the radiologists, the pathologists who look at your slides, everybody is there to talk about a patient from beginning to end for all breast cancers. It's really pretty great that we meet that way. As a radiologist, I specialize in breast imaging. We perform diagnostic mammograms for women that have a palpable lump or other symptom. We also do ultrasound and we do imaging guided biopsies and we also provide breast MRI biopsy services when necessary. One of the newer technologies is digital breast tomosynthesis, also known as 3D mammography, and this allows us to see through dense breast tissue more clearly, and it has a higher sensitivity or picks up more cancers than a regular mammogram. Because of the state-of-the-art technology we have here at Holland Hospital, women are able to get that level of technology close to home without having to drive out of the area. I'm fortunate to be part of the Holland Hospital High Risk Breast Clinic. It is a service we provide to women who have been determined to have increased risk of developing breast cancer. So part of our assessment is to do a very detailed family history, age of their first birth, the age of their first period, their age of menopause. All of those things have some subtle risk associated with developing breast cancer. So we can determine whether a person should have further genetic testing, or maybe they should be considered for risk reduction treatments. More detection is happening earlier, and more women therefore are surviving their breast cancer. Again, everything was, was tailored around me, my schedule, so that I could continue to live on with my life and move forward through this journey of treatment. You should feel good when you come out of everything and that journey back to survivorship is essential. We have uh, an OT and an assistant um, team and we have a PT and assistant team. They can address fatigue and pain and range of motion restrictions and scar work and strength and um, endurance and so really every component of the system that may be taxed uh, we can help to improve. We get people back to life. We specialize in women's health care, it's what we do, um, and we enjoy building relationships with our patients, um, and I think patients can sense that we genuinely are here to care for them and their entire women's health needs.